Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tie with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, remember my content is strictly for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. Also, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's dig in and take a look at what the Russians and Ukrainians are doing as far as Bitcoin and um, their currencies and also U USDT. This is on a trading view, uh, taking a look at Binance. And uh, the top here is just Binance US, and bottom here is just Binance um, in general. Um, here we have this middle uh, row here is Bitcoin uh, paired with the Russian ruble. And we're looking for volume here. Uh, as you can see, volume has tapered off ever since the um, the 7th of March. It's continues to drop down. So it doesn't look like, at least on Binance, that Russians are trading in their rubles for um, Bitcoin anymore. They're still doing it, but not at a significant volume. The yellow line here shows the average, the previous average. And uh, it's... Um, yeah, it's trending down. It, pe it peaked up here uh, around the uh, 7th, which is looking similar to the 24th here when uh, Russia did the full invasion, started their full invasion. And then since it tapered off, let's take a look at Bitcoin paired with UAH, which is the um, uh, currency for Ukraine. Um, they went up slightly here. Uh, around the 10th and then it's been tapering off but not at the same rate as um, the Russian rubles here so yeah it's um, it's getting less and less the, and the Russian rubles uh, pairing here this is Binance they might have gone to another exchange like in the Middle East or something um, that's hard to tell based on this but at least on Binance it's uh, decreasing let's look at and, and see about tether tether paired with uh, the ruble and this is also going down here too see that so here it spiked up back up again on the uh, the seventh and then ever since it just been tapering off and it could be uh, you know we, we've seen reports of several exchanges um, abiding by the uh, sanctions uh, and blocking some of these accounts um, that are the, on, on the sanction list. So um, as far as I know, Binance itself hasn't done that. So um, but so this is interesting. Uh, what's also interesting is um, UAH, uh, Tether paired with UAH uh, from Ukraine. You see how it's increasing? So more people are holding, um, trading in for Tether here. So opposite direction of the ruble. So Ukrainians are buying, holding on to more uh, tether as they um, trade in their UAH. Uh, so that's interesting. I want to give you a quick update and see what's going on in those, uh, in those two countries um, with the uh, um, invasion happening. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video later today. Peace.